Hello everybody. So um, welcome back. I haven't put up a tutorial for a while because uh, my sewing machines were kind of like acting crazy. I'm going to use my new sewing machine today um, and we are going to focus on back to school. So um, it's August. It's the middle of summer but schools are already in starting last week and they're starting again. Anyway, we're making um, today and the next video will be things that you can use for back to school time. Today we are going to focus on some reusable snack bags. Reusable because we want to be some of those people that actually try to help the earth okay, and keep the plastic out the ocean from the Ziploc baggies. So inside of this, this is a waterproof um, material. It's called Ripstop. Okay, you can find it at Joann's. You can find it at Hobby Lobby. You cannot get it at the Walmart, um, but at a actual fabric store, you can find this. It comes in different colors as well. I always use white because I use so many different types of fabric that I don't, unless I'm doing a really special gift for someone, I, I always use white. Okay, so... Um, I actually sell a lot of these, so these are pretty popular, all right? This is just a rectangle, I promise. This is going to be easy, okay? So grab yourself um, some fabric, outer fabric, okay? Pick something that you like, fun donuts, okay? Veggies, if you want to put veggies in here or send your child with veggies. Um, or, you know, you have a son, he might not like the donuts. Get him whatever sport he likes, okay? So we're going to use that. Um, well, I'll show you. We need outer fabric, okay? This is going to be apples that we work with right now. And you need this for the inside. This is the rip stop. It comes on a huge, um, wide 45 inch sheet. It's, um, shiny, smooth, waterproof. This is actually what's also inside of lunch packs that you purchase, okay? So what we need to do is you're going to cut rectangles. You want them to be seven or seven and a half inches wide okay you want them to be 18 inches long okay 18 inches and seven or seven and a half you know i've even done eight but um that just depends if you want to make sandwiches and use them for sandwiches go the eight inches if you just want them for simple snacks do seven to seven and a half okay so once you have that let's get started that was thunder I told you I live in Florida. It's about to storm. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, I want to show you. You see these fat quarters here? Fat quarters. They're called fat quarters in the store. You can get them for um, sometimes 99 cents in Walmart. Don't sleep on Walmart. Go there for certain fabrics, okay? Or Joanne sells them way too expensive unless you get them on sale, just like Hobby Lobby. But um, otherwise, um, wait until they're like 99 cents or 89 cents at the store. Fabric quarters. Um, these come, I'm not going to give you a whole lesson on fabric cutting. This is 18 by 21, but basically you can get three snack bags out of this one 99 cents piece of fabric. Yes. Okay. So I wanted to show you that and they have sushi, they have pears, plenty of different fabrics. Okay. So once you have your materials cut, your outer and your inner, the first thing you're going to do, okay. Um, let's take your edges. I'm going to just put this under here as a padding because I'm going to get the iron. You'll need the iron. I'm going to turn over about a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. That's all. Okay. I'm going to get my iron. Iron down the edges. You know what? I should actually get a different color here so that you can see the difference. Um, for my padding. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, that's a quarter of an inch. I'm going to fold over again because we really like pretty seams. Okay. We don't want to see all the ugly raw edges. Okay. Iron that down. Ironing it makes it a lot easier for you to sew. Do the same thing with the other side. Okay. All right, got this folded over. And you can go uh, less than quarter of an inch if you want to. 
you don't have to <laughs> you don't have to go um, exactly quarter of an inch so don't get your measuring tape and start measuring just you know eyeball it fold it under okay and I folded it over again okay all right we got that flat hmm. I know I didn't go to my ironing table <laughs> okay now I'm going to take the rayon and this is where it always gets a little tricky because okay I've cut it a little too long so um, not the rayon the rip stop so the rip stop um, you can actually cut it um, seven inches by why don't you do like um, by like 16 um, because I'm actually going to trim this off and I'll show you why okay so you see how much I'm cutting off um, yeah so you can make it a little shorter than the 18 okay so I took off that much and I'll show you why right now okay so what we're going to do we are going to this right here both parts of these are um, water resistant okay waterproof okay here's the shiny side I'll use the shiny side just because it's shinier okay so with your pretty side fabric down okay take your rip stop tuck it underneath the edge that you just sewed that seam tuck it underneath there okay do the same thing on the other side tuck it under okay and now what we're going to do I'm just going to fix this right here I didn't um, I didn't um, iron this straight okay okay now what we're going to do we're going to get pins okay. grab some pins to hold this rip stop in place okay because this definitely will slide okay and just put one there going to put one more at the bottom and do the same thing on the other side okay same thing on the other side Whoa. okay and again we're just doing this so it doesn't slide okay then we're going to go to the use the machine okay so what we're going to do right now we are creating the seam for what will be this right here so I'm going to turn this inside out just so you can see what we're working with right now what we are going to do is this is one edge right here so this is one edge and on the other side, it's in the pocket. There's the other edge. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to sew um, close to the edge, close to the nice, pretty folded edge, which is going to be that flap. Okay? So let's do it. Straight right across the edge, right across. Okay. I have my pin position. Now I'm going to take it out. Okay. All right, and I'm using white thread, of course, because you want to make sure that you coordinate with whatever outside fabric you use. I'm now almost to the end. I'm going to remove that pin. And remember to backstitch. We always backstitch. Hold that in place. So you see, look at that stitching very pretty okay we always want it to look good don't worry about this right here we're going to cut it off when we're done turn it around do the same thing to the other side okay stitch closely right at the end okay we want to hold that rip stop in place you may think it's going to slide a little it's okay just hold it okay and my machine back stitches already, but I'm going to do it when I start. I'm going close to the edge, close to that pretty seam line. 
taking out my second pin. And we backstitch. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do, so we need to fold this up. So what we're going to do is turn this down, face down. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to create the bag. You see that right there? We're going to create the actual pouch. We want to fold this. I'm just going to cut my ends right here. Don't worry about perfection. You'll see why. You won't even see that when we're done. Okay. We want to fold this down about two inches. Okay. You can't see it. It's inside, but it's going to be this flap. Okay. So the first thing we want to do, fold this down about two inches. And just to show you so you feel comfortable with knowing how much that is. Look at this. So, okay. So that's two and a half. I'm going to... I'm going to push it back a tiny bit. We want to make sure that we get um, the same measurement. Okay, so I'm going to leave mine at two and two. You see that? Just because I know and I like that distance. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is just bring this other edge, bring your other edge up to meet this one. Okay. I'm purposely, I'm going to make a sandwich baggie out of this. Okay. So now they're touching each other. Okay. All right. So let's put a pin here. Okay. Flatten this out. Let's put a pin. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a pin to hold this in place. Okay. Just like that. Just one right in the middle. Okay. So right now your flap is inside there. Okay, it's there. You don't see it. Okay, what we're going to do right now is we are going to sew along the sides. So you see right now, we're going to sew the left side and the right side. You, you can start at any um, at any side you would like to. Make sure you backstitch on both ends. You want to secure it in place. Okay. I'm going to just start um, at the top here. Okay. And I'm going to use about a quarter of an inch seam. I'm back stitching. Back stitching. And removing now. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, same thing. We're closing up the ends. Guess what? We, you're actually almost done. The simplest project. Now what I like to do, um, I like to feel where the flap is. I can feel what's right here inside. I'm going to put a few extra stitches right here because kids open and close the bag. You open and you close it. You open and you close it. You want to just make sure it's secured. So I'm just going over that portion. Okay. And I'll do that on both sides. I can feel the flap. I can feel it inside. Extra stitches never hurt anyone. Okay. Taking the pin. Okay. Now we're going to remove the pin. So let's take that pin out. Okay. If you have zigzag um, uh, pinking shears, they're called, you can use them. If not, use your regular scissors. What we want to do is just cut off the ends, which is why you don't have to worry about it if you end up um, cutting your fabric crooked or anything because you won't see it. It's inside of the bag. And we're going to, you know, just... Um, clean up those sides anyway so don't worry if you don't cut your fabric straight okay and don't worry if you see stragglies because you're going to cut the ends 
All right, I always like to have um, finished ends inside of a project because it just makes it look good. Okay. Now, if you want your bag to be bigger or wider, just play with it, adjust the sizes as you learn. Okay, it just depends on what you plan on using it for. Guess what, you're done. This was so quick, wasn't it? Turn it inside out. You can put these in a washing machine, wash them on cold with cold water. You can use a wipe to actually just wipe them out at the end of the day. If you put like only grapes or crackers so that you don't have to wash them every single time. But they're usable. They're wipeable. And guess what? There it is. There it is. So now you can make some yourself. Remember, if you want them wider, instead of using um, seven inches, like I mentioned in the beginning, go ahead and make them eight inches so that by the time you're done with them, they will actually be seven and a half inches. Okay, you see this is this one is a little wider. Yes, and if you want them to be shorter, smaller than this one that I just did, cut off two inches. Okay, so you play around with the dimensions. Okay, and it just depends on what you plan on using them for snacks and veggies or sandwiches you decide Okay, so let me know what you think of the video It's back to school time and you can do some pretty quick and simple projects. That wasn't bad, right? Okay, so let me know if you have questions um, Put them down below. I will answer them and I will see you for our next video. That's all. Bye